Well, hello and welcome. Today, we are looking at how you can add a minimalistic chat widget to your live stream. So you can go from looking like this to this. So the best thing about this is it just got way easier to add thanks to the fantastic Mr. Boost, who I will link and credit down below in the description. He has gone and made this into an overlay that you can download using stream elements and apply immediately to your live stream. So it could not be easier. There is no excuse not to give this one a try. So I'm really excited to show you this one. Let's get to it. So for this one, you're gonna need a few things. First of all, you're gonna need OBS Studio, stream elements, and of course, the link, which is down in the description, which is gonna take you to that specific overlay, which will allow this to add to your live stream. If you're unfamiliar with using OBS Studio or Stream Elements, I have already done tutorials on both of those things. So I will link them as well down in the description and pop the little banners up at the top so you can go and check them out as well. Now, the really clever thing about the way this widget has been created is that you can simply click that link and it will take you straight into your Stream Elements account if you've already been signed in and it will put it on your dashboard ready to go ahead and customize and link into your OBS streaming software. Now, just as a disclaimer, guys, this does only work with Twitch at the moment. So if you're wanting to use this for any other stream, such as Facebook or YouTube, as far as I'm aware, this doesn't yet work. Now, as a second note, make sure that you are setting all of your stream element stuff up using Google Chrome. I've known there's been some issues with grabbing the links and pasting that through into OBS when people have used things such as Firefox. So it's just one to keep in mind if you do experience any weirdness going on there. So assuming that you now already have a Stream Elements account, you can go ahead and you can click that link down below. So go do that now. So when you click that link, something amazing happens. You are taken straight into Stream Elements. You are taken straight to your overlay screen. And there at the top, you now have the sideways chat widget. So let's go ahead and click on the edit button. So the first thing that you want to do in here is go and click just next to the sideways chat up here in your layers, which will open up all of the settings. So just underneath there, we can go ahead and click settings. And within here, we have a few incredibly useful tools. For example, we have the test function. We can go ahead and do test message and that will pop up a little message at the bottom there. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Boost for creating this and making it so incredibly easy. So within this next section, there's all kinds of things that we can customize. We can choose whether we want to show the nickname in every single message, but I prefer to have it so that it doesn't actually do that. I like it so that it kind of groups together all of those messages as though they were one. It just looks cleaner when you're going for that more minimalist look, which this definitely provides. So up to you if you turn that one on or off. You can also go ahead and choose whether you want the chat to be hidden after a number of seconds. So you may say after say 20 seconds of inactivity that you want that then to be hidden. I actually don't mind the chat staying on the screen all of the time. So I set that one to 999, which stops it from ever disappearing. If you do have it so that the chat disappears after a few seconds, you can actually choose an animation in which it will fade out or bounce out or something like that. So have a play with those. You can also choose what font you would like this to be. The font that I use is actually called ASAP. So go ahead and change that to maybe one of your fonts that you use for your own brand. Now you may have actually already seen this widget working on somebody else's stream. Maybe you saw it in Nutty's stream. If you are familiar with him, he has quite a distinctive font. So Mr. Boost actually went and built in his font in here. So if you want to use that one, you can, and you just turn it on selecting yes here. So you may want to tweak the font size, make sure it's not too big, make sure it's not too small. If it's too little, you're not going to be able to read it. A little bit further down, you have a few items here like the font weight. So do you want it to be bold? Do you want it to be medium, light, all that kind of stuff? Do you want to change the color? Do you want to add a shadow? And what color is that going to be? Do you want there to be a background? So I actually like the standard kind of semi-transparent background. On my version, I actually have a slightly purple hint to it to help it fit in with all of my branding. You can change that whatever you want to. You could have a solid color there or you could make it completely transparent. It's entirely up to you. You can choose what color nicknames show us. So I have this one as, as it is on Twitch because a lot of people actually choose their own color on Twitch as how they appear. And I like that to be reflected on my stream. But you might have a really specific look to your overlay maybe it's all monochrome so for example you could set that so that everything was just black and white to keep it really slick and even cleaner looking again 
more toys for you to play with and just tweak to your own preference. This next one allows you to hide any text that starts with the command prompt. That is really useful if you want to hide any kind of custom commands that you have going on in the chat. I use loads of them and all of my chat uses them to make memes and all kinds of things pop up on my stream. So I don't want those things coming up in the chat. I just want to keep the chat just for chat. And for the very same reason, I also want to exclude any messages that come from my bots from appearing in the chat up at the top because they're bots. They're not real people. I just want my chat to have real people in there, please. So in this box here, you can actually go in and type in your bot's names. So you can see here, there's the stream elements ones, there's another bot. So in my case, I could put in there Bex bot because that's the name of one of my bots. So that will ensure that none of my bot's messages will pop up on the chat. Now, one more thing that you might want to change is if your stream resolution is smaller than 1080p, you can come into position, size and style. And in here, you can go and change that so it's gonna fit. Now, mine is 1080p, so this works fine, but if it's 720, you may just wanna adjust these so that it's gonna fit in there nicely and you're not gonna to have to kind of stretch the box around in OBS to reposition it, it's a bit of a pain. So get it right in here first, or if you're using 4K, of course, you could make it bigger if you need to. So just make sure that those numbers match up to what you would be expecting to see in your stream. So at this point, there's only one other thing that I would personally change, and that is the location of the chat box. Now, by default, it appears at the bottom, but I would actually prefer to have this showing at the very top of my stream. So to do that, all I need to do is come down here and I can just grab this and pull it up to the top. That looks perfect. Now, if I go back to settings, I can just go and do another test message so I can see that I'm happy with the placing with that. I can see that my text is updated on there. It's displaying as I would expect. See, if I click it again, it's recognizing the same person is chatting, but it's not putting my name again in there. So that's kind of the difference between whether you have that option on or off. Now I've made a few changes there. So for that to commit, I need to hit the save button at the top right. So go ahead and click that. So the very final step is we need to click our little paperclip friend up at the top, which will allow us to copy the overlay Earl for us to then go and paste into our OBS. We should see a note at the bottom saying copy to clipboard. This is where it's important that you're using Google Chrome. If you find that this isn't copying across, it might be because you're using Firefox and that is a known bug. So just be aware of that one. So back in OBS, all we need to do now is add this as a browser source. As always, we just come to our sources, hit the plus, choose browser. We will call this horizontal chat box and choose okay. And in this top box here, just paste in the address that we just copied on the clipboard. And then remember, we need to update the width and the height so that it matches your stream size. So if you remember, mine was 1920 by 1080. And we don't need to do anything else there. Just hit OK. So let's just finish by showing you what this looks like on an actual stream with everything else in place as well. So I really like how this looks on a just chatting screen. I have this at the top. So I have actually created like this little area up here, which is just for my chat. So if I go enter some stuff in here, say hello chat, we can see that popping up along the top there and it is really nice and tidy. I much prefer it than the old look where I actually had the full chat showing in like a big square, taking up loads of space on the screen. So if you are looking for a more minimalist look, something a bit cleaner, something a bit more modern, a bit different to what most other people are doing, this is a really, really easy one that you can go and take your stream to the next level. So give it a go and let me know how you get on. So that is it today. If you found this useful, please go ahead and hit the like, comment, subscribe, all of those things. I absolutely love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Waloogie? I said Waloogie. What should I have said? <laughs> oh, did I do it wrong? Waloogie. Waloogie. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs>